For our guided prayer today, we will be in Psalm 125. The psalmist says, Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abides forever. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people. From this time forth and forevermore, for the scepter of wickedness shall not rest on the land allotted to the righteous, lest the righteous stretch out their hand to do wrong. Do good, O Lord, to those who are good, and to those who are upright in their hearts. But those who turn aside to their crooked ways, the Lord will lead away with evildoers. Peace be upon Israel. The psalmist sings in this psalm of our security in God's care. It's the Lord who holds his scepter, and no one can wrestle it away from him. This humble song encourages us around the truth that our hope is secure, not because we are strong, but because God is. In this song, we also confess that we need God's intervention to keep us and to hold us. You know, in these days, we have lots of things that can cause us to worry, can cause us to be fearful of. But in this season, we can trust the secure hand of God's care. So what does it mean for God to be our king? What does it mean for him to rule our lives? What does it mean for God to intervene and govern your life? These are the things that we want to pray about this morning. That God would be the king of our life, that he would rule our lives and that he would intervene and care for us in the ways that only he can. Would you join me in praying this morning? Heavenly Father, we thank you for your love for us. We thank you that you rule and no one can wrestle your scepter away. Just like the psalmist this morning, Father, we can with confidence say that our hope is secure when our hope is found in you. So Holy Spirit, we ask that you would empower us today to find our hope in the one true hope. Holy Spirit, we confess that at times we don't see how you are intervening and helping us. And so when the worries and cares of this world seem to surround us, we ask that you would show us just how mighty our God is. Jesus, we thank you that we can pray and come into the presence of God the Father because of your sacrifice for us. We ask that you would empower us by your Spirit to live in ways that reflect the care and the compassion and the love that you have displayed for us. Thank you for your love. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.